get a free CGB Shark token when you use the promo code CGB5 at checkout on any order at CoolStuffInc.com. That's promo code CGB5 at CoolStuffInc.com. And a big thank you to them for sponsoring my channel. You're cool. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and shh. We're at the library, so I'm going to need to keep it down in this particular video. Why the heck am I literally and magically speaking in a library? Because ah, Spectrum still can't figure out how to get internet out to my house. We have power back and we've been living in the house, but we're not going to get internet for at least two more days. Uh, that's a whole story. It's on Twitter. You might wanna hit follow on Twitter, short version. Power company came out and put the power lines back up, but then just decided they didn't want to do the internet line and they cut it in half and left me without internet. So we're waiting on Charter to fix that. Also a Sentech to hook up a new connection that's underground, so I don't have to worry about that in the future. And in the meantime, I still don't have internet at home, so I'm in a meeting room in my public library. A portion of this video's proceeds will go to my public library. Support your public library. You know, that place with the books. Your parents told you about it. Anyway, I didn't think it would be appropriate to record in a library without playing Biblioplex Control. So I'm not saying that I think that blue-black control is good in the meta. I think it's in a pretty rough spot in the meta, and I think this deck in particular isn't playing a lot of what could make it good, but we're gonna do it anyway, because content. Also, I haven't been able to play MTG Arena for three days. The videos you watch were pre-recorded from the basement dojo. Friday morning, we left there, and it is now Monday afternoon, and I haven't gotten to play Magic Arena over the weekend. I'm itching. I'm itching for a fight. Also curious where my rank has decayed to, having not played in just a couple of days. Got daily quests to do. Anyway, this deck has no win cons except for two Crawling Barons and Mascot Exhibition in the sideboard, which it gets with Divide by Zero, so that's fun. Other than that, it's just 100% answers with the plan to eventually start activating the Biblioplex every turn and grind the opponent out of cards that way. We have four copies of Check for Traps and four copies of Flunk to go with the Divide by Zeros to deal with troublesome permanents that Blue Black can't normally remove. I think that the discard cards are actually an important part of the equation, but I'm not sure how well they'll do against Aggro. Against Aggro, we need to draw Blood Chief's Thirst early, Flunk in the middle, and Shadow's Verdict right on time. If we can do that, I think we'll have a good chance. Uh, against all the creature lands, God help me, they basically start with a bunch more threats than I do because their creatures can attack and block. So wish me luck against those. I suppose Flunk and Baleful Mastery will really have to show up and Soul Shatter a little bit as well. So that's an introduction to the deck, my current circumstances, my situation. Follow on Twitter if you want some more, so maybe some nice pictures of my library setup and future further updates as to if and when this YouTube content creator will have the luxury, and trust me, I understand at this point in my life it's a luxury of biroptic internet at my house. So, let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. One of the things I need to tell you guys to help you understand how hard the last few days have been for somebody who's used to using the internet, my wife used up all of our cellular data plan playing Pocket Camp, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp on her phone earlier this month, waiting for a vet appointment. And you know what that means? I can't use my phone to get on the internet either. So um, I've only been able to check here and there when I have Wi-Fi, uh, what's going on. So I would like to thank everybody uh, from the Patreon, the new patrons, kind of amazing. Uh, the, U the new YouTube members, you guys are really cool. So thank you to everybody who's supporting me uh, while I'm going through this means a lot. All right, we've got a plot around casting Shadow's Verdict because we are on the draw against green. Still one of the best decks in the format. Very likely to just straight up defeat us here. And let's try to Shawari disrupt something. The attack here and the held priority is kind of interesting. I think it means Snakeskin Veil. So there's a troll. If we disrupt it, well, let's see what the opponent does. If we disrupt it, they just pay. So maybe what I was supposed to do there is kill the Sentinel. So I could divide by zero the troll. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're we're just losing to a god draw at this point. See if they use snakeskin veil here, we can disrupt it, or we can let it go. They let it go. All right. Hopefully we get something to counter, but the fact that they want to leave Veil up every turn for the rest of the game means that we're probably not going to get to counter anything meaningful. Okay, they did nothing. That's fresh. Let's hide the fact that we have double black for the verdict. Maybe they play around it. And they don't have a creature land yet. They're probably going to run Haven and Lair of the Hydra, so we'll be in, pro we'll be in trouble. But they don't have them yet. If they just pass here, we behold, and then we verdict, and that's game on. Yeah, they might be holding like the Nasika's Chariot or something like that, though. It's a bit of a problem. Take a flunk. There's a check for traps. Do we want to use that? And then we can divide by zero the troll. Seems pretty good. Try to wait on this verdict so that they don't just play a chariot and beat us with it afterwards. Yeah, they haven't committed too much to the board. Maybe this is what we need to get around Snakeskin Veil. Vale. And there it is. Two Blizzard Brawls is nice to see for us as well. Um... Do we do this now and not give them a chance to draw another one? I think so. So you go back. Let's get the sciences. A little bit of life gain. A little bit of land drop. That's frustrating, but whatever. We've only got a troll left and we have two verdicts, so let's not goof around anymore. The troll returns. Anybody else? Just a land. The divide by zero is interesting. But let's just exile this. Level three, no play. Don't know if I'm going to Jwari anything. But this is the point where we either need to get up to seven cards for the Biblioplex or down to zero. Right, second ranger class, not a good divide by zero target. Let's see if they drew another veil here. Remember, we're trying to get down to zero cards here, so we pull back the flunk and cast it again, or we could Jwari the Veil on the way back. But I think it's this play, which is something you don't see every day. Scots, let's go. So what do you guys think of Library Persona CGB? Are you enjoying the nice, soft, subtle mix? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not enough to divide by zero and cast an exhibition, otherwise we'd consider it. Send it back, get more. That's game. Whew, that was a that was a nice little ride from behind. I, I feel like check for traps just totally changed the way that played out against the snakeskin veil. Will not get salty.
And I will not yell and scream. I will not get salty. I will not yell and scream. Can't yell and scream for the children, for the kids at the library. This hand is great. Let's go. There will be no need to yell and scream if I draw greatly and dominate. Of course not. Uh-oh. Well, dragons. How'd you get so highly ranked? I can't draw that well with dragons. Yeah, the Izzet deck's still really good, though. If you draw enough of the right cards in a row. Okay, well, they're not playing the snow package. They cut the frostbites. That was something I was playing with, too. All right, these are the wrong cards for the matchup. The Shadow's Verdict is the wrong card for the matchup. We also run like 29 land equivalents, so let's make sure we draw those lands. Ooh, send go away. Heck no. Maybe Teachings is the right grab there. Yeah, I don't really want to tap out though. Another divide, pretty good. Okay, foretell and no iteration. Well, we like to see that. No land drop for us, we hate to see that. Behold. Mm, that's so bad for us. Um, scientists. Well, we're tapped out. If they have a perfect draw and can slam a dragon here, they get to do it. If they have a negate as well, we won't win. All part of the experience, Russ. Oof. Everything about this has gone very badly. I love that I've missed land drops and drawn cards like Shadow's Verdict in my 30 land deck. That feels, that feels good. That feels good. No black. <laughs> you know, today gets better and better. We're gonna give it a shot though. We might draw the black. Plus we have Behold. Behold's pretty good. On the play it's pretty good. I still might actually worry something. We have a lot of land and I might draw them. Ah, look at that. Hand just got great. Are we playing another control mirror? Mmm, Simic. Okay. Well that should be exciting. Do we want to check for traps? So early in the game. Eh, let's try to resolve this Behold the Multiverse and check for traps later. Teamer. Funky. You got Divide for this? Not yet. Let's take those. Hmm. What you got? Let's see what you're working with. Yep, it is a divide by zero. It's also a Quandrix Cultivator and a Vastwood Surge. Battle of Frost and Fire I don't think we care about. We can counter the next thing they play, and then we can take the other. I think divide is the thing that causes the most drama there. Also, they lose a life if we take the Divide. So maybe they go for Cultivator and we counter that, and then we take their Vastwood Surge and they lose another life. Okay. Let's stop the ramp. Should we wait for something better? Yeah. They have an All Runs Epiphany already. That has to be the Exile card. I really don't feel like I care about battle, but it does get them a lot of card advantage. So, I don't know. This is kind of a tough one. All of the storm giants hanging out over there. We could just lose to that. That and the Epiphany is going to push under huge pressure. 
and the Baleful Mastery is so expensive. Well, that's that's a reasonable draw. All right, so kill, tap. Ah, uh, though to kill all the storm giants, I need their hand to be empty. Let's see how good they draw here while we're tapped out and they're casting their epiphany turn. All right, they reach for hall, so they might have just drawn lands and ramp spells. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. We're still, we're still short on this behold. I mean, we can do it, but our opponent gets to draw, which is a pretty bad feeling. Hmm. I still have the music on. It just doesn't play anymore. Should we taunt them a little? Maybe give them a Yorgo. I think they'll be happy they made this play. Ooh, hopefully we get something good here. Another divide by zero, a Vastwood Surge. I guess we have answers to both the creatures, so we take the divide. So that they don't mask out Exhibition us. Kill this. And now they're on ramp and a turtle that we can flunk, and we're in a top deck war. And they get the first move. Okay, island. Are they gonna surge here? Oh, we'll give them a chance to go for it next turn. Okay, they're not going for it. I thought they might just try to put some counters on their turtle. End the game. Wow. Okay, gotta kill that with the ability on the stack. Nice top deck. We're gonna die to the surge unless we draw a counter spell. And we didn't. Not a good day so far. It's been it's been brutal. Alright. Well, this is what testing is important for. Baleful Mastery is trash. Card is cut completely. We're gonna try all the soul shatters. Take it back to week one of the format. Hate on the dragons a bit. Okay, Shambling Ghast. Maybe we want to wait. No. Nah. They have the Deadly Dispute. It's got to go. Wow. <laughs> nice hand. Um, that doesn't cast Kalein. <laughs> Best possible draw in their deck. Easy. We let them have their painter. They can only have one at a time anyway. What, no dragon? Oh yeah, we're, we're chilling now. I mean, we could cast that and make them keep casting these. I don't know. How are we going to deal with these anyway? Now nah, let's just save it. Well... 
Oh, oh, okay, we're bossing up. I like it. We're gonna 3-4 clean. Well, aren't you glad we saved the Blood Chief's Thirst? Yeah, that's just gonna be a little one two. That's why I've never been like Colleen's a fine card. But I've never been like, boom, four of them, let's go. So how much do we want to hit our lands? I have a feeling we'll hit them anyway. <laughs> Five land in a row there. No biggie. Hmm. Let's keep it coming, but I'm starting to think we want to go down to hit our uh, Biblioplex. We'll see. Depends what they play. Like, in theory, if we had never foretold these, we'd be up to six cards in hand. So maybe I shouldn't have been doing that. Showdown. All right. I guess I can play Divide and try to show weakness here. Hmm. Fresh cards. Let's go. Maybe they'll go for it again. Sack some treasures to go for this showdown? That would make my day. How could I possibly saw it coming? <laughs> Alright, two cards in hand. It's gonna be tough. Teachings is often a trap. I've fetched it so many times and then not get, been able to cast it, and I should know better by now, but I just don't. What can I say? Alright, we're going up. I've decided we're going up to seven, not down to six or zero or whatever. Doesn't scare me, especially with the Shadow's Verdict. All right, we got it. We sevened up for the Biblioplex. Now, will using it actually get us a card? Yes, actually it will. Let's cast this one from the hand, and then we can Biblioplex on upkeep. Or we don't need to. We can play the Jwari almost for sure, and get back down to seven. Or can we? How many showdowns is too many? <laughs> Depends how many Saw It Cummings you have. Is four Saw It Cummings enough? Okay. We've got one card in hand. Can it beat us? I don't think so. Aw, oh, don't be Deadly Dispute. Okay, thought it was for a second. Doing it. Ah, 
Oh my gosh. I get to activate Biblioplex. Uh, decline. Let's draw that. <laughs> so funny. We finally find land on top, but we don't put it in the graveyard. We put it onto the battlefield. Say hello to my little friend. Right. X equals zero, by the way. I guess I have to keep that, too. Yeah, Shadow's Verdict uh, kind of wiped out all the fun. Show him the soul shatter. <laughs> good game yeah eventually I'll charge these up and eventually they will get you all right on the play of the Jwari and divide and behold it's fun stuff it's the way magic should be I'm gonna foretell I don't think there's anything I need to Jwari on turn two off of a tapped land on turn one I think it's just fine. Hunt for specimens. Some kind of a Rakdosi pesty learny thing. Valks. Perfectly fine, Jawari. Alright, gotta keep an eye on Hagra Mauling when we go for our Crawling Barons. But this is looking really good. Our opponent probably has an array of anti-creature cards in hand, and we're getting to draw a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see if they go for a dragon here. Go for a deadly dispute. We could bounce that. They could play a dragon. Then they add up, up a treasure. I guess it's fine. They have a lot of cards in hand. Let's grab teachings. Maybe this game will cast it. Alright, they've got the untapped land. Do they have the dragon? They have hunt for specimens. Maybe they deadly dispute right here, right now. Oh, okay. Pest summoning. Five cards in hand. Yay, cards. Let's see what they do. I'm kind of nervous if they just start powering up Haven, but they're not going there yet. Right, handful of stuff. What's it do? Another brood pit. That's a lot of land. <laughs> we have drawn a lot of land. I think it's past time we check for traps, don't you? All right, instant or card with flash. Otherwise, we lose a life. Well, Wolf is a pain. It's definitely the best thing here, but we can also grab the Deadly Dispute. Let's grab that first. And now the, the Wolf. The Tybalt's scary too, but 
gives us the it gives the impression that we can handle the Valky. And the lull spiders actually will beat us to death really fast. I mean, wow, they go for it. I I expected them to be more cautious there, but they did not. He even flunk. At least the flunk's a bit of a brick. But how are we going to beat these havens? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I guess we can double block one, but they can soul shatter us. And it would be a soul shattering soul shatter. They run a lot of planeswalkers. But playing Blood Chiefs Thirst here seems pretty bad. I don't know, I guess we're just going to have to behold the multiverse and draw into the right cards. The creature lands are such a pain for control decks. It's incredibly, incredibly problematic. But we have Flunk in our deck. Unfortunately, our opponent drew it. They also have a big grip. So Flunk isn't going to do the job. I guess it would now. They're still not powering them up. Still not doing it. Do they have something better to do? Another hunt for specimens. Man, uh, the pests are living up to their name in this one. It's time for a new hand. We've drawn enough land. Let's uh, let's get out of this. Okay. Pretty good. Still not dealing with the havens, though. We can divide by zero the flunk back to our hand if we get our opponent to cast it. The problem is we have so many cards in hand that they're not going to try to use it on the barons yet. So I guess we need to take their soul shatter. We want them to, we, we're going to let them know we want them to play the exhibition. But we'll grab the shatter. Shambling Ghast is the card. Hold cards in hand. Try to start activating barons to block these things. Mm-hmm. I was worried about that. God, there won't be enough. There won't be enough. They can still flunk it and kill it, and we are one mana short of using Divide by Zero to save it. Down to three we go. They don't have enough Snowlands to power up both. Another traps. Okay. Three life is not much. An instant or a card with flash. They don't have any of those. Man, I need a soul shatter back. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. It's like the best draw. It's like the best possible draw. I guess I have to let that go. Probably means I lose. I mean, if they draw anything useful at all. Still only one. All right, flunk it. 
Jesus. Why do they have to have it all, man? They might forget about the flunk. One mana short. So sad. That was frustrating. Oh, tilt. Does nobody play aggro anymore? I've only played one mono green player. Nobody else. Nobody else has played anything resembling an aggro deck. I've played like eight mid range decks. Yeah, that I don't like talking. I don't want to talk. Wait, are you aggro? I mean, okay, let's go. The best possible turn one play against me. <laughs> okay, okay. Gotta be careful what you wish for, I guess. If they drop a Redane later, we're gonna have feelings. Yeah, we need the land. Especially if they play a, an Elite Spellbinder here. Well, the verdict is going to enjoy that. Just ready to jawari something here. Probably not, though. All right. Well, we got our wish. We got to play against white trash. Let's see if we can expose it for the garbage it is. And there's the Elite Spellbinder that they held back, probably. See what they take. They take the Divide. They're not afraid of Behold? Okay. Only six mana for the Divide, no big deal. So we'll behold this turn, but we're also holding up Shwari just in case they somehow walk into it. They're gonna go for double strike. Okay. Could be worse. <laughs> it's worse. <laughs> Removal, thank you. I'm starting to get concerned my deck didn't play it anymore. All right, how are we going to avoid dying to Faceless Haven? <laughs> First of all, this has to die. Second of all, let's check your hand. Redain, huh? And Portable Hole. I guess Redain has to go. Go ahead and get this tap land out of the way. We're never going to use it on the opponent. Not for a billion years. They know all about it. Yeah, everything they play now has to die. Let's try to save this for a haven. Um, hmm. Is there anything to be said for just playing Divide by Zero here for the fog? What would we get? Mascot Exhibition, I guess? They might play two creatures next turn, knowing we have Mascot Exhibition coming, so let's do it. Slam Rodane. <laughs> nice. Alright, walk into the Verdict. Yes, come to me. Very hateful version of the deck. They've they've had enough of the control meta. They're gonna run Redane, Paladin class. 
they do have a portable hole in hand. If you want to feel bad for them, you can. And portable hole gets the 4-4. Four four. If they top decked another portable hole, I might have a meltdown. But no, oh, Golden Spell Cleric. Okay, this is kind of bad. This has double strike. Flunk is a great draw. If they attack with both, we can punish it. Yeah, well, kind of. We trade with the cleric, right? I can power up the cleric. Okay. So we can't trade there, so I guess we have to... Flunk you. Soul shatter you. If we want to keep our 3-2, which we may as well. And they have another creature. <laughs> Wait. My gosh, our counter spells have been terrible. Alright, and we're down to top deck mode. I mean they're they're pretty lucky. I'm pretty lucky. But we have been dumpstered by this paladin class. Yeah. I quit. I quit. Rough day, guys. Got literally dumpstered by just about everything we played against. Uh, so I kind of knew the deck wouldn't be good. I just wanted to play some control that I enjoy personally and have some fun. Unfortunately, fun wasn't on the menu. You can't play a bad deck and expect to always have fun. A good amount of the time, the meta will beat you down. If you want some ugly stats, check out untapped.gg. Link in the description. But on the bright side, content was made, and you guys are gonna you're gonna feel the squeeze too. You're gonna see how hard I work to make sure that you usually have good, fun games to watch as opposed to these absolute beatings. <laughs> because I've only got a limited amount of time that I get to use the room. So that's a video. The streak continues. Thank you for watching this one. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you to everybody who's um, supported on Patreon and hit the join button below for the YouTube membership. It means a lot to me and it keeps me going. And uh, may you guys have way more fun in Magic. So thank you for watching. See ya. Oh!